when you do come to Christmas Island, you will need a selection of different flies. What works on one flat or even for one pot of fish won't work on another lot. So you need variations in colour and weights as well. So, I mean, that's something that we used over the course of a few days. Just different colours go from orange, which might work perfectly, um, you know, onto silver, and then there's some other special little ties as well. We had a little favourite here, which I'll show you close up, is a uh, one of our crab packs, which was fantastic. So have a range on hand, and you're going to come up trumps with a lot of these fish. We also, uh, these, funny enough, are a little bit big for the bonefish. We use these for trevally, something, a nice big flashy profile, um, and it's something really going to attract some attention and create them to, to strike at it. So have a good selection of flies, and you're going to catch as many fish as you need to. Small crab patterns like this one work extremely well, and when combined with an assortment of mini clouses and crazy charlies like this orange one, you have most of the tools you need to fool any bonefish. That's more long, more long, the big one come, this side. Uh, 25. Okay, good. Wait, just wait. Okay. Oh, this one, strip, strip, the other one. Wait, 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 wait. Strip. Can you make us again? Both the right and left. It's a Christmas Island special on that English, isn't it? That we changed fly a couple of times and it made the difference. Yeah, a little bit different. But you lost your mojo there for a little while, Al. Yeah, I was just getting worried. It's there somewhere. After the initial run there, I've uh, just rewound the backing on. Now I've got my fly line back and uh, could probably do that another couple of times yet. There's that, that mouth with that Christmas Island special. Fantastic. fish they're just the muscle there there's just uh, not an ounce of fat on these uh, these fish and I'm not sure how that chrome comes out but just amazing so when they're they're front on you can see them they're quite this one's quite light sometimes they go green but when they turn side on just this reflects all the um, the sand and uh, you just really can't see them but you just don't get sick of catching them don't get sick of catching them
Gavin had with him one of the ever popular GoPro cameras, and thanks to his onboard camera, we can put you in the driver's seat of some of these spectacular bonefish takes. Now it's pretty important when you're, you're in Christmas Island chasing bonefish that you've got the right gear. So we tend to use like an eight weight, something with a, a, a bit of power because you can quite often uh, have a bit of wind as well. So we've got an eight weight and like a decent reel. It's got to be a good waterproof drag because they do give it a workout. We also tend to use a lot of things like a buff to protect against the sun. A decent set of glasses. We, we quite often use like the Makos and I find like the, the trout lens which is like brown is probably one of the best to highlight the bonefish uh, and quite often we'll just use like a little bum bag as well which is just handy to hold all your gear and uh, very important too a water bottle holder so uh, you need to drink a lot of liquids when you're here as well so that make sure that you're not dehydrated uh, and you're just gonna love it so get the right gear and it's gonna really improve your fishing and make it a lot more fun Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of On The Fly. Christmas Island is just an amazing place. And from a fly fisherman's perspective, it's just awesome. So if you get the chance, get across here, tackle some of these bonefish, and I know you're gonna love it. I look forward to catching you next week on The Fly.